Hi, I'm Grim. And I'm Red! Oh, Jesus. That was loud. <laughs> Welcome back to Worth a Dram. I am Red. And I am Grim. This is your home for whiskey reviews, stretched opinions, and classy jokes that you can rent for prom night. <laughs> I like it. Because we are uh, getting into a sample of limousine rye. Let me get... There we go. Limousine rye in Grim's handwriting. Yep. So this is a Dancing Goat Distillery. Dancing Goat. So this is another sample that I had the bottle and I sent it out to you. But we actually received this bottle from Wisco Risky Review on uh, YouTube and Instagram. Thank you, Jeff. Jeff. It's been so long. It has been. It has I, been. It's partially my fault because I don't really spend a whole lot of time on Facebook anymore. Neither do I, actually. We have a Facebook for this channel. Yeah. But I don't spend much time there. Um, however, all right. So Dancing Goat Distillery is based out of Wisconsin. They are. And that is, that's partially why uh, Jeff sent us this bottle because we shared some of the Whiskey Del Bach that we sent up to him. And he wanted to send something back to us yeah. from his home state. Um, so that's how we ended up uh, talking about Dancing Goat. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Great uh, distillery up there. Yep. And uh, this is a sourced rye. It is sourced. Um, they finish it in limousine oak Soleras, mm -hmm. and then I believe it is then aged further in ex bourbon barrels. Yes, that's correct. Yeah, right. you got a good memory. Good memory right there. So we don't have notes this time. We're free balling this whole thing. Yep, we really are. Interesting. The no that's what I'm yeah. coming up with. The nose is interesting. Like it has, I'm not gonna lie, it has like a little bit, it's not it's not the same like iodine smell that we get out of some Isla Scotches. Yeah. But it definitely has like a medicinal Medicinal, air to it. that's a good that's a good word for it, medicinal. Yeah. I'm getting some oak in there and then some a um, little bit, yep. A little bit of like vanilla sweet like vanilla cream sweetness. Mm-hmm. Like towards the end. Yeah, I'm having a little. I'm having a little trouble getting past that, that yeah. antiseptic smell. Right, I'm gonna reset the old schnauzer here. <laughs> I forgot about that trick. Get a whole whiff of ginger. Yeah, I mean, you need you get some ginger, and it resets your nose. Not so seriously, though. Smelling yourself kind of resets your olfactory. Oh, you're smelling yourself. I thought smelling it was. Yourself. I thought it was just smelling you. Not just smelling ginger. All right. I'm selling uh, factory nose resets. It's just like clumps of my hair. <laughs> I've reset my, my old factory senses. I'm still having trouble getting past that. Yeah. Pine. Pine? It's got a little bit of a pine sense. A little bit of pine is Pine nuts, it? I think. Pine nuts, I can get that. Yeah. I'm getting, I mean, so yeah, that, there's a lot going on. Yep. Yeah, for me the nose. I'm just gonna get into it. Yeah, same. Cheers, Cheers bro. Totally different from the nose. Mm hmm. Creamy. Oh, that's a good one. Creamy. I st I'm still getting a little bit of, of, of just pine. Pine. It's like, all right, so imagine if you're like you're drinking a milkshake in a car with a, like, a, you just pulled through the drive thru and got yourself a frosty. Yeah. You know, vanilla frosty. And yeah. you have a brand new air freshener hanging in the I'm in going there. on this journey with you. Right? Where are we heading? Road trip? Yeah, we're getting Frosties. We've already got the Frosties. Oh, we've already got the Frosties. Stay with me. We've okay. already got the I'm Frosties. I'm sorry. We're just getting into them. Okay. And we've got that freshly cracked pine tree air freshener. Okay. Like that's, that. like so it's mostly like vanilla sweetness. And like a hint of like. With that back end of forest. Of forest, yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, I can I can get you there. I'm not I'm not 100 percent into the forest. It's not bad. I'm not complaining about that. I don't know if it sounds like I'm being critical of that. It's not. No, it's good. Definitely got that vanilla creaminess to it. Mm -hmm. um, and then I was expecting more rye spice. Like I was expecting Same, yeah. more like nutmeg, clove. No, it's not 100 percent rye, right? All I saw that it was, it was a sourced rye. I didn't see what the actual mash was. I would be amazed if this was over even 75%. Yeah. I think this, I feel like this probably meets the, well, the minimum could be, for the, a rye. That could be the bourbon barrel sensation. Could be. Rounding could be. At lending the sweetness and rounding out the uh, rye spice. I can't argue that. I, there's a little bit, there's a little bit of like, it's either like a star anise flavor or a little bit of like sassafras root. I get sassafras. I'll give you sassafras. Okay. But... Yeah, vanilla cream, and then the rye spice that is present is more of a 
like a sweeter nutmeg almost like mm-hmm. like a, like you're baking an apple pie and you're getting all that sweetness with the pie spice yeah um, but you know what it's not it's not overly sweet like it certainly doesn't no. ride the whole the whole train yeah. you know like it's 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 right up front but then it fades out really nice and it, yeah. it uh i'm getting a good hug right now too i'm not I'm no not, yeah no i think i i stick around like 90 percent so so it's I, if I remember correctly, this is age six years. Yeah, six years age. Yeah. Uh, between I think it's between the two barrels. Six year age. Can they do? Yeah, yeah, they can do that. So they, yeah, they can count a finishing. Or they count a finishing. Maybe maybe I should just stop talking. I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> so it's aged at least six years, um, and then bottled at ninety three proof. Um, no, I mean I like it. Um, it's definitely got a good balance between sweet and rye. Yep. Um, but like I said, I was expecting more of a rye punch. I, for a rye whiskey, I would really, really yeah. appreciate more of a rye presence. So that's interesting. And especially coming because like, so Whistle Pig is one of my far and away absolute favorite rye whiskeys. Yeah. And that is their prominent flavor yeah. profile. It kind of punches you in the face with rye spice. Yes. And yeah. they're, but the thing is about, so they're 10 years. So I don't really care for their farmhouse or the, the, the farmhouse stock or the piggyback, because those yeah. are both like, I think, I think those are in like the four to six year range, but like the 10 year, which is their standard expression, killer, killer yeah. rye whiskey. It smooths out that rye. It really like does. punch quite a bit. Yep, the years take all of that, all of that edge off of the, off of the juice, and yeah. it's, it's just pure rye flavor. Yeah. Um, I love Whistle Pig. Yeah. Which is something we really do need to cover. I'll, I'll have to send some out. I have the piggyback here. So if you want to do piggyback, we can. We might as well. I mean, I just mentioned it, so why don't we do it next? Let's do it next. Next episode. Where next episode. Rye, piggyback. Rye whiskey's back to back. It, yeah, we're going to do it. <laughs> but limousine. Limousine. Um, yeah, I, I, it's it's good. It's good. It's good. I wish that, I, I really do at, wish there was more rye to it. At $35, I think is what I saw MSRP was for this. It sounds reasonable. I think it's that's a good reasonable price for it. I think it's, it's definitely flavorful. It's got a good balance to it. Um, and... Yeah, no, it tastes very good. Mm-hmm. Yep, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Ooh, remember to like and subscribe. And follow us uh, on Instagram as well. Yes, that's where you can get the most up-to-date information will be Instagram. And remember, no matter how like... Uh, <laughs> I'll take it. No matter how you like your whiskey. That is the correct way. 